What's up, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing a third part to the pieces of the past. In the first video, I showed you the path to explore in order to find the Shrine of Mayrunes. The second video, I showed you the initialization of the quest and the end. This one, I will show you the interior of the Shrine itself. The Shrine of Mayrunes is a treasure trove. I mentioned doing a save before entering. This is critical because you cannot rely on the game's autosaves. And if you want to get some really good treasure, do not rely on the autosaves. Before you enter the temple, you should arm yourself with a bow and arrows because this is the best way to deal with the occupants of the shrine. Once in the temple, switch the first person mode and sneak down the path. You will see the Shrine Guardians. They are two Dremoras. You can snipe them dead and then you can enter the shrine. The main treasure chest of the shrine is not the real focus. There's some good stuff in it, but there is better stuff all around the shrine. One of the main things you should be looking for in the shrine is enchanted helmets. If you are looking for a particular enchantment, what you can do is reload at your save, come back into the shrine, snipe the guardians, and keep doing that in order to get the proper enchantment that you want on one of the helmets. Water breathing is usually the main enchantment I look for. For this video, I'm not really concerned with the enchantments that are on the helmet. With all the random treasure, and metal ingots, etc. The shrine is a very great treasure trove. The shrine refreshes every 10 days, but you cannot wait on the actual shrine grounds in order to refresh the treasure. You have to go somewhere else. Once you get all the treasure that you want, you can fast travel to Dawnstar or White Run, wait 10 days, come back. The Guardians are very easy to kill, and you can just keep loading up on treasure. This is Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, ending my Mayrunes trilogy. As always, thanks for stopping by.